All right, and we are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Skullgirls Kickstart League match. Tonight, we've got uh, The Gun Show, the team that I'm on, versus Team Liquid Meat. So we're going to have uh, Gun Show is me, Jaxus, Yoko the Spirit Fox, who you're about to see here, and Cryo Jester. Team Liquid Meat has got Fettuccine, uh, Obero, and the person going first on their end, Phantasme. I also, am, I'm sorry, I'm joining commentary. Yep. And with that, hopping straight into it. So this is a new player league for Skullgirls. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But for now... Yeah. So, Chase me versus Yoko. Both have a good zoning character and a good approach character. Yeah. Uh, Phantasme has got his zoner in the back with Robo Fortune, uh, double up front. But I double's got some pretty solid zoning capabilities of her own. It's certainly not the same level as Robo Peacock, but like, man, Luger is surprisingly hard to do. <laughs> it's not Robo Peacock, it's Peacock Sarah. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, Robo on one end, uh, Peacock yeah. on the other. I meant. Oh no! Oh. He had the right idea, he was just too fast. I going for the tick throw and yeah I tried to grab hit walk stun yep oh no uh okay so phantasme there i think not recognizing how many hits that had what a dp so he push blocked yeah. away instead of going for the punish but i'm sure that's something he'll know now for next time does dump the bar swaps over to the robo so this is now um which one is the Right, never mind, I was going to say hey. uh, who the zoner and who's the approacher swapped, but... <laughs> no, back to... Hello? Well, Do you think this will kill? Maybe. No, not Ooh, quite. Okay. Uh-oh. This... Oh, you get incoming by your own bomb. Oh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Oh man, okay, so Phantasme is in a real good spot here. If Yoko can get a good hit or two, I, then it'll be some real strong damage, and Robo um, is not... That's probably the... not. Yep, okay, yep. That'll do it. No, one it's okay. Thing is, like, when Yoko's down Sarabella, probably needs to start trying to flick those beams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the flick input can be like odd to get under pressure if you're not used to it and i think he's used to being the zoner more than uh being the one getting in on the zoner but yeah i i agree if you can so with robo beams they're technically just a projectile so you can flick them and then you don't get hit by the beam and it does fly all the way back to her and you get to dash in and get a combo unless you're at like full full screen and if far then hey at you're full in. <laughs> at full screen you can probably you might be able to uh run battle butt just to tack down some damage it close true yeah as long as you've got the charge okay oh uh, like like pot it's not she doesn't reflect she's just her own projectile right sorry I, yeah 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 it's like a weird catch counter Ooh. okay so this is an interesting matchup because robo can like her projectiles start much faster but if Yoko can keep the uh, the pressure up and not let her get one out, or make sure that something is out to hit her even after the laser hits, it's a real strong spot. Uh, that matters a little bit less right now as doubles on yeah. screen. Oh. Trying, I think Yoko's trying to match range for range. I, yeah. A bit of that, and he probably wanted some of that red health back. Is this going to be a yeah. full combo? Oh no, he goes for the mix-up. Uh, Phantasme, big fan of holding up back, so he got out of that one. Oh my gosh. I I don't normally see that DP, like, cross over. Or, sorry, that's not a DP. The light version is. It is. I don't... Uh, only the light version. version is. It's weird. I, well, I thought it was only the heavy version. Nope, it's the light one specifically. It's super bizarre. Huh. Okay, Yoko is still alive. Is it gonna DA... Uh-oh, he needs to swap With. right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that sword is actually uh, a strike immune on Peacock. So maybe yep. using that to get around beams. Yeah, it's like a... Oh, and the snapback. Yeah, that is a whole lot of red oh. health that just disappeared. 
Uh, and... Ooh, okay, character's not... Ooh, what a light punch. Oh, had to do that, so he couldn't, he couldn't block. Mm -hmm. Yeah, live. if he did, he was dead. And yeah, that... In a situation like that, uh, it is incredibly difficult to go up against Robo, because she can just be like, hey, instant. If you're not invincible right now, you're dead. Speaking of which, oh, he doesn't have the meter to finish it. Yoko gets one last chance at life. He has to make sure that uh, Phantasme does not get in on him, but yeah, Celia Sly. Oh. Quick low, dash is like half screen. Pretty good. But okay, so with that, um, round one, so to speak, is over. This is a crew battle. The way it works is the person who's up first goes up against the person who's up first from the other team. And then instead of just whoever won that first game doing the next match, uh, we do two versus two, three versus three. That way, all of the players have a chance to play. So next up, we will be having uh, me versus Obero, actually. So... All right. So you're going to... Second. I just realized I did not set up the audio mirror so that I can without this. So give me one sec while I do that. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, let's chat now that, like, uh, that you're setting up for, uh... Sure. Yeah, thank you. For, uh... Alright, testing, testing, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, cool. And I can hear you as well. So... Let me do one more adjustment so that the stream can hear the game. Sorry about this, guys. All right, and I completely misspelled audio. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just said the stream has a do. <laughs> okay, one last setting that I need to change. All right. So next up is uh, Obro versus Jaxus, just a moment after technical stuff gets taken care of. Okay, uh, if anyone's in chat, can you tell me if you can hear the game audio right now? Do you want to just open up? Sure. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Okay, you can hear game audio? Cool, thank you. All Never right. mind, we are good to go, so I am going to take the headset off where I can hear the game. Uh, you message over let him know I'm ready. Alright, so... See you guys on the other side. This is going to be Jax vs. Obro. Jax has been running, uh, his uh, Valentine Parasol team for pretty much the entire league. Obo's running Painwheel, and I think somewhat recently it added uh, Philia to. Actually, I think he's always added Philia, but it's running. Last time he was running uh, Painwheel Philia. So let's just see how this goes once it gets started. Alright. That's just a little bit for our character select. So, I do. Yeah, I said good. Audio is clear. And uh, all right, so here we go. Jax's first Obero. All right, yeah, Obero using his Japanese voice set. Um, oh, Obero game. Good start, but not gain much out of it. Jax is getting corner. A good opening there. Oh! Missed the reset, but Obro didn't punish. There's... Obro doing some good pressure on the Philia. Yeah? Oh! Jax just loves punishing push block with that command grab there. Oh, he's... Oh, there goes Philia. Oh! Obro is running a triple this time. 
Hopefully that's just on my end. Oh. Good combo. Gonna dump meter into this or go for the reset? Yep. Oh, meter dump while he well, bro, is poisoned. Is so, bro, gonna swap out, try to get the red health back? Or... Oh, not too late for that. Now, this is definitely Obro's strongest character in the game, though. Was well, one he started playing with. Oh. Obro playing very defensively, but oh, gets stopped. Oh, no punish there. Obro's being hesitant to confirm off his hits. That could be. That could hurt him. Ooh. Get some nice damage there. And get some out, oh, out of the corner. Oh, this should be. Oh, drop the combo. Oh. That shit. Oh. Now Jack's settling for zoning, trying to just chip him out there. And that, ch not sure if those blockers got through. But yeah. I said right, so game one to Obro. Oh, uh, game one Jaxus. All right. All right. So game two of their set. <clears throat> See if Obro will still, still run the triple or if he'll go back to two of those playing last week. Oh, still playing the triple team. So it's open. Oh. So Bro's just being fairly. Seems to be playing with the- oh, Jax with the good throw. Valentine's throw being very nasty, I thought, with being a full combo starter. And good reset there. Oh. Just, uh, super out of the reset. Reset. But gets caught by the opening. Oh. Gotta start- Manage box way out, but getting convert. Wonderful. Oh, never mind. So, oh, bro. Nice DP, but traded with the uh, assist. Oh, could have been combo starter. Oh, Jack is going for a reset here. Or just jumping. Jack's pushed too far and hit IPS. Oh. Got caught not blocking properly. Let's see what over oh it's down panel. Let's see what he can do with that. Oh. Didn't get much out of the fight. But got got uh, range. And Jack's going with very good pair, so drop for some reason. No punish on the Miss DP. Let's see how Obro gets around this zoning. Oh, Jax is missing the confirm off the throw. Oh, Obro's still in hatred and stuff. Oh, gets caught. Caught by the guns. Alright, good job, Jax, in that. Okay. Yeah. Am I unmuted now? You're unmuted now. Okay. Alright, so. Oh, they're getting right into it. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, so yeah, next up we will have uh, Fettuccini and Cryo Jester. Uh, this is going to be an interesting match because it's Bayo Band versus Bayo Bella. <laughs> Should be quite the show. Yep. Or 
Yeah, he's both dick. So who's the better wrestler? <laughs> yeah, that'll be the- Oh my gosh, Joey just Thanks. trading some of Van's life for some hype. <laughs> and Joey's very scary once he gets started with his throws. Yeah, for sure. Um, once you have to block something from him, or he hits you, it, yeah, it generally looks about like this. <laughs> yeah. uh, just... right. First does yeah, come out. Joey... Oh, that's the trade. Tra oh, trade with Tagan. Hmm? Yeah, Tagan, like the point card comes invincible. Oh, so I don't oh. know if. Oh, no, okay, so. I was going to say he doesn't know that you can burst during the, uh, the train, but he does. He tried to wait until Fettuccini pressed a button to combo off of it. Oh. He... Like, uh, Frau should have. Like, he got gold for her, so he, he could have lost. I think what happened. So, a lot of players, when they beta burst, immediately go for grab. So, he probably tried to throw tech. Uh, but I wasn't baiting him. Since he, oh, since Joe was blocking it, it became a gold burst, which means uh, it's not punishable. Yep. Yeah, he can move at the same time, but most people will see that and immediately start like trying to press a button because they're like, "Oh, I'm safe." Uh, or sorry, will immediately try to block because, "Oh, I'm safe." Uh, and so a lot of people get away with immediate grabs there. I think he's probably just caught on to that. But However, you just know how much Joey is a gorilla <laughs> yeah. in just every game he plays. But Achini's like, nah. Heck with that. I'm just going in. <laughs> Alright, he chooses character based on how many buttons he can press. <laughs> I mean, that's like. Yeah, that's not inaccurate. Okay, going. Oh, Solo Bella. Mm -hmm. Alright, I've uh, seen uh, Cryo go for this a couple times, especially. Oh, wow, that tried to cross up run, but. Got yeah, unfortunately, uh, uh, that wasn't a call out. That was jump heavy punch, default button for uh, any situation. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that was a like, cross up there for Fettuccini, right. though, for sure. Yeah. It, like that chair, like the chair heavy punch is so hard to deal with. Oh, it looks like Cryo's um, feeling some pressure because. He very reliably gets those combos, but I think he's pressing things early, so it's coming out as uh, the lock and load instead of his launcher. Oh, yeah. But, so, lock and load is, like, is, uh, this... yeah. that shit, sure. is it? That's dead, yeah, for sure. He still had three bars behind that as well. But yeah, that, um... Honestly, that was kind of an unfortunate showing from Cryo. I've been doing some matches against him for most of the week, and he's been nailing combos super reliably. I think it uh, just one of those things where the pressure got to him, which that can happen, especially because this is, again, a new player league. So lots of these people don't have like in-person tournament experience or a whole lot of online. All right, so I don't have the score up with this. Uh, is that... It is. So, Phantasma and Fettuccini are still alive on their team. Uh, I will be hopping off of commentary for basically the rest of the match because I am the last stand for the gun show. So, uh, hopefully I can bring this back. See you guys after the match. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be Phantasma versus Jaxus. Jaxus being the last help, hope for the gun show here. Let's see what Phantasma can do with his uh, dub double robo. I think it's Doing double do robo, yeah. Yeah, and see if he can keep Jaxus out. Or just do double stuff. You can't treat people! That's outrageous! Let's do this in one take! Alright. Let's rock! Here we go. Both fairly defensive starts. You know, Mantez may abusing his uh, beautiful jump heavy move and jump medium punch too. Jax is getting the first real combo out of it. And it's a uh, good cross up reset. And a false cross up. False cross up. So, yeah. For that. Oh, Maxed out drama there, so Mantez may did first. Their fence, Kazmi is going to try to swap out soon to get the right health back. Oh. Oh. 
random drop there. Oh, good, just pushing, pressing buttons after he, the f push block failed. Uh -oh. And throw can't help keep you can't help if you get thrown. So Taz may kind of get through here. Probably not. Oh. Nice use of the armor chainsaw to get through that. Uh, Phantasmia is probably, is probably can't get close enough to, uh... Well, Valentine already has all the health back. So, he's content to just try to chip Jack down and it seems to be doing well. Oh. Just, uh... Poke, poke, poke. Ooh. Interrupted by the bike, by the biker, dude. But yeah, let's see what see if Jackson can get through this. Oh, he got through and just got chainsaw in the face. Right, so that means Jackson down to his Valentine. Ooh, nice incoming, uh, uh, throw. Just more good zoning on uh, Fantasmi's part. Oh, just using. He's in the... Oh! Jax is in the meter to revive uh, Parasol there. That's uh, sometimes uh, level 5 move. Does a little damage, but gives uh, your assist back. And Jax just takes game 1 there. But Phantasmic got fairly close, just needs to push a little bit farther in order to come back this time. To our, in order to take this game. Alright, let's see what that adaptation uh, both players do here. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway. A vote for me is a vote for freedom! Huh? Everybody, mind your mark. All right, so let's see if they both do a defense round. Star one gets aggressive here. I think Fantasmi was trying to call out a defensive jump back there, but also gets a good starter. Oh. Oh, but didn't get caught there. The Jax is with the combo. Maybe just some pressure going on here. Oh. Fantasmi is just doing very good neutral. Here, taking full. Oh, nice punish on the alpha counter. Oops. Couldn't quite pick up. Very good throw tech from Jaxus. Huh. Now, Fantasmi is not used this, he's just laying, laying double rock. You know, and it's working out so well so far. Not having much issues getting in, just running over Jax's complete opposite of how the last game started. Oh, Jax got some start. Small reset there. Oh. Bad snap, snapping gets rid of all of Double's red health. And all of Double's real health. Oh. Pressing buttons on a way. In incoming to get it. Has me getting a uh, Valentine away and going back to the zoning that I was doing so well last game with. Just a lot of oh, setting up for hidden missiles there. You know, when they have rejects. Oh, this could be dangerous. And going for a combo. Oh! Nice burst fade there by Jaxus. Oh, drop the afterwards. Let's see what Phantasmi. Oh, drop. Phantasmi is dropping now. But just going back to good zoning. Punishing the assist there. Oh, Phantasmi probably could have gotten Valentine there, punish blocking that fireball. Oh! Stop. Oh, armor through so it didn't confirm into the full move there. 
And now a word from our sponsors. But Jax is on the other side and just press button and get up and uh, get a combo anyway. Did it not successfully swap over to match focus during that whole thing? I sorry I wasn't paying. Oh right, yeah, you don't have the stream up, huh? Okay, I'm also yeah, I don't know how I got that last hit. <laughs> so um right. that heavy move has uh, I'll explain later. Oh yeah, I know it has armor. Uh, I it was the one after that that I'm surprised about. Anyways, uh, headset back off because. All right, so we have uh, Joey versus Jaxus. I don't expect any surprises on what team they're using here. They've been using the same team for a good while. So let's see if Jack can keep Joey out, or if Joey can just run his train over there. Uh, Joey backing up to get immediate full height meter from that taunt. And Jax is separating Beowulf from his beloved chair. Joey not falling for the burst bait there, getting out of the reset. Probably swapping out the band so Beowulf will automatically have his chair when he comes back in. Ooh. Nice punish on that. Uh, nice good punish there. So, but Jax is doing fairly good just opening up uh, Joey's big band. Drop the command grab there. There's uh, Joey with a very good combo here. See, going to horn crush here probably. Yep. Oh, was he? Tr I think he's trying to rock rock tag to combo that. But oh. Uh, Joey try getting caught trying to taunt there. Jax is getting most of that red life back as uh, Joey's just forced to block at range. Oh. Jax is doing the opening. Let's see where the reset There's the reset there. That's the bed. Uh, that's dead fail. Joey not blocking. I think he got propped up by the fireballs. Bad throw there should be it. Oh. Alright, so Joey's on the last round for uh, Team Liquid Meat. If he can take two rounds here, he can bring it back for his team. Yeah. Alright. So, match, match point for Jaxus here. See if you know Joey had a really hard time getting in with uh, Beowulf there throughout throughout that match. Let's see how he, you know, how he just how he uh, gets his pressure on better. They're ready. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Joe. See, they're going to stand opening or not? Joey trying to do more scan aggressive opening, but you know. Force swaps from the band immediately instead of trying to retrieve chair. So, oh, push block, but didn't get anything off of it. It opened up there. Now it's Jack's gonna go for a throw reset here, or just going for jump meter dumping. Probably swapping into the sniper afterward, or not. Uh -oh. And Joey getting with that cross up tag, tag in for some reason. And pair some good damage here. Since he has corner and full height meter here. And all of the meter he wants. Oh. oh that using the hyper comp the hyper meat special meat. What the? Where my? Sorry, my screen just dropped. So I missed that. All right, so Joey's still looking like he's in good position here. Oh, drop that. May have been able to get rid of uh, Parasol. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, 
but I don't know the reason for the second one there. But... But... Now it's Jackson the lead. Oh! Let's see what Jackson can do with that. Oh, this could be a dead, uh... Fail. Nope. Not quite, but almost. Instead, Ban taking the camera. Jumping out of the reset, but getting opened up anyway. It's all down to this little bit of fail up there. And there it goes. Sorry about the dropping commentary there. My computer unfo unfocused from the match. Well, there we go. Okay, I'm back. Alright, oh. so. Okay. <laughs> Jax is winning it for the gun show. Yeah, managed to pull it back. Man, fighting Phantasme and Fettuccini there was, like, super, super scary. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Okay. Right, sorry, let's... Uh, so that is the match. Uh, thank you all for tuning in to tonight's match. Make sure you come by tomorrow. We've got three matches back to back. We've got a uh, 623B versus the Mongoose, which is Chari's team here. Yep. Here. Yeah. yeah Chari's team. Here. Uh, we've That's got here. 623B versus Liquid Meat, and then we've got or and Liquid Meat, the team that you saw here tonight, and Liquid Meat versus Wake Up Super. Yeah, that's a uh, tomorrow's gonna be real good, real good matches to yep. Liquid Meat tonight. Had some great showing from everyone, really. Thank you very much for coming on for commentary as well, Jerry. You're welcome.